opinion Malaysia versus Thailand doesn't get bigger than this Ahmad datang ke Liga Super VPG Malaysia bersama Timo Priya Ghaba Jamal Ghaba Wasim Hello guys and welcome to the official Virtual Pro Gaming live stream. We are live on Facebook and YouTube tonight so you can check us out on both platforms. If you are tuned in, thank you all for watching and we have a fantastic matchup tonight. We have the official, two official teams going head to head in the Esports Premier. We have a Lillestrom SK from Norway uh, taking on Malaga uh, CF from Spain. Two of the teams which are doing fantastic in the eSports Premier already. So we're going to go over and show you the league tables in the eSports Premier. As you can see from the opening uh, debut games yesterday, Lillestrom sit first in the table and Malaga are in third. So both of them have got a 100% win ratio and one of them will probably lose that tonight. Uh, so that is the league table there. Obviously, there is another side of it. There is 28 teams in the Premier, uh, but we've only got the table up to 20. Obviously, guys, let's this kickoff is due in two minutes' time, so let's take a look at the each other's lineups. Kicking off for Malaga CF tonight, they've got PJ in a goal. Uh, the three centre halves and the left mid, we have Lopez, Fan Levetsi, even CRM and Rabufo. Two CDMs and the right mid, we have Alex, uh, Bazan, and Afro, and the, and the Cam and the two strikers, we have Raul, Alva Bombs, and Bestia. The lineup for Lillestrom tonight we have same formation 3 5 2. Sticky going out in goal. For the three centre backs on the left mid, we have Fudson, Mr. Saukal, Team Only Me, and Dubax. Two CDMs on the right mid, we have Sorley, Hazard Hales, and Anzinho. And the cam and the striker of Tasco, Ego, Apina, and Official Class. So these were yesterday's fixtures, but I'm going to go change that now and I'm going to show you the results uh, from... <laughs> Here's some of the results. We had QPR beating Digital Sports one goal to nil. Rotherham and Notorious drawing one all. Widges and OP Hellas Verona uh, nil nil. Uh, Galatasaray beat SAF, which is a very would have been a very big game as well. That would, would have been promoted by us, but obviously we did the other one. Uh, 3 0 to Galatasaray. Sio Asasuna lost 3 1 to Rise in Rain. Getter Boys won 1 0 over Genkla Belize. Uh, Besiktas beat Royal Beasts. Lillestrom beat HSL. Empire Tigers and Dream Team drew one all. Um, and for the last game, we had Malaga beat Zeal 22. So this one tonight is going to be a very big matchup. If you are watching on YouTube or Facebook, uh, do give it a like, comment and share it, please. Okay, we just had the confirmation that uh, Malaga are uh, lobbying up. Now, as you can see, top left-hand corner of the screen, uh, you can see that... Uh, Lillestrom are ready for tonight's action. Um, not long now, literally one minute till kickoff, and then we were proud uh, to get this one underway. Let's take a look at some of the top scorers in the esports. The first game of the season, we have Jay Tober, 11 from the Sports VR, fantastic side of the way, consistent. In third and fourth position, we'll take five position for strike force for that. That's going to be very, very good. just waiting uh, for both teams to kick off we should be with you very shortly we'll go into the live arena and let's take a look to see uh, their lineup in in 
more action. Okay guys, as you can see on the screen, they are getting ready for tonight's kickoff clash against Malaga. Official cross is there. I think yeah, all the players are there. I was going to say where is the right striker, uh, but he's in the any spot tonight. So if any players do lag out, uh, there is the rules after the 10th minute of the game. If a goal has gone in, you cannot back out of the game. So if any players do lag out after that, it's all up to the any to control the rest of the team. I'm just going to communicate with both captains now. Hopefully we can get this game underway. And as you can see, it is underway now. Both of them are choosing kits. As you can see on the screen, both of them are white. Hopefully it does change for the rest of the team. Which, yeah, okay, yeah, we go. It has changed. A big match this one. Lillestrom versus Malaga CF in the Esports Premier Clash. And here we are, guys. It's just about to kick off. One of them will lose that 100% win ratio. Unless, obviously, the... Could possibly be a draw in this one. It's very, very tough matchup. Let's move over to the full screen now, guys. And we are live. And in the purple, uh, we have Malaga. And in the white and blue... Uh, we have a Lillestrom. Sticky going out, catches that nicely uh, to begin the first half. I mean, as I said yesterday, you probably noticed at the high level of pro clubs, the more high level you play, they use that L1 triangle, which is the overtop free ball straight away from kickoff, hoping for that second ball uh, to get an early lead. To be fair, this is my first time casting over uh, the Malaga side last season. They were the managers of 11 gods. They got promoted from the Premier North and South tier into the highest league, which is the Esports Premier. They won two from two yesterday. So they've, they've come into the highest level with a fantastic start, winning an opening two from two. And a nice overtop through ball. And here it is. It's the striker official cross. He couldn't do anything with it. And it's a nice save from the keeper. The keeper plays it out on his feet and the L1 triangle is that. Just another shout out obviously to the centre half uh, for Lillestrom tonight which is team only me. Obviously I know him as Ayub. He's, he's a Norway international player as well. He plays at the highest level for the internationals. He's the manager of the Lillestrom side tonight. So he'll be dominating that back line surely for his side. Nice tick attacker passing. Back into Dubaks, into official class. He's got three goals this season already. Could he have got his fourth? If he shot first time, he could have, but it's a nice clearance from uh, Malaga. And we have Alex, plays it to the centre forward. Raul, is he going to find this left-hand side open? And it's on this left-hand side. Back into the middle to Alex. Very composed. Back to the manager. Bazan is the CDM and the manager for Malaga. Back on this right-hand side now. They're playing the ball around very nicely. Afro Gaz, he was the ex-captain of Falcons. It seems he has signed for this team for the season. Hexen Falcons manager Afro Gaz looks like he's playing right mid tonight. For the start of the first 17 minutes of the game, it's been it's been uh, either either side really. I mean, it's not been a lot of chances created. I don't think any of them had a shot yet. I think the Lillestrom striker could have scored his opportunity but decided to take that extra touch instead of shooting it first time. But then again, you know what these FIFA animations are like? He probably did try to shoot, but it wouldn't let him. And here we go. We have Malaga on the counter. And a fantastic challenge there from Fudson. And you can see him running back into position. Lillestrom are playing that high line, which is fantastic to see at this high level. Pushing that back line high so the players can press. And it's Afrogaz on this right hand side. Can he do anything? He plays a free ball. And he's still got the... Deflection there and they play the L1 triangle back into the middle and another great header from Fudson to clear that one out. And they plays the through ball. Great interception there. Afrogaz on this right hand side. A bit of trickery. And Ayub sees Afrogaz off with a clearance down the left hand side. Lillestrom are on the back foot here in this 25 minutes of the game. And a nice cross and it's the first goal of the game. And it's Raul, left mid player for Malaga. What a... 
what a ball from that winger to see him, his, him making that run on that far left hand side and the first time volley and there we go the first goal of the campaign and it's Raul for Malaga let us know guys in the comment section who you think is going to win in this game do you think it is going to be a, a Malaga win or do you think it's going to be Lidderstrom and it's a goal kick to a Malaga He gets this ball into the middle. Nice tick attack of passing style, but he loses it. And Igor, Igor Pina is here now. And it's official class. Just a little bit too much. And it should be a corner now. And it's a corner to Lillestrom. Have they practiced any set pieces in the offseason? And they go back post. Plays it back into the middle. Official cross. He does a little turn there. It should be a penalty. And no, it's not. And a nice clearance there on this right hand side and Dubax sends it out for a throw in and they play the ball comfortably back to the centre half with a nice over top free ball they have practiced this tactic surely Malaga have they know that Lillestrom are playing that very very high line Nice interception there from Alvarez. Back into the right centre back. Back into the middle. Very dangerous pass there. Lavetti whacks that up to the striker. I think they are playing a, a tall striker board. He holds it up nicely. And it's Afrogaz on this right inside. A nice little ball roll. And it should be 2 0. And it is 2 0. A fantastic shot. Started off with Afrogaz on that right inside. A ball roll back into the middle. And a fantastic finish. Top right and corner. Sticky couldn't save that one. And they celebrate their second goal of this one. And it's Raul. Again. His second goal of the campaign. Mr. Sacco and Lidlström. They should get themselves back into this one. And they lose a bit of shape now. Nice bit of skills. And it is free. What a fantastic bit of skill from the centre forward there. He sends the defender the other way and whacks it home for free. Going into this game, I wouldn't have expected this one. I would have thought Lillestrom would have had a little bit more going, attacking, to be fair. I mean, you can't really blame the centre centre backs for Lillestrom on this one. It all goes down to team performance. If one player or two players aren't pressing at the same time, they will lose a bit of shape. Igor Apino, fantastic player. On this ball, outside the box, back into Dubax. The Igor Pino, can he shoot first time? And another interception there from the centre-back for Malaga. And the ball is on this right-hand side to Hazard Hales. A switch over to the left, and we see Ayub on the ball, back into the middle, back into left-hand side, sorry. Into Dubax. Ball rolls past the winger. And Balsam with a nice interception. Plays it back into the middle here, and it is Arsenio. On this right hand side. So Tasky, he's got three goals of the campaign. It should be a goal back now, and it is. Official class with that one goal back. And that's his fourth goal of the campaign so far in the Esports Premier. And that is the half time whistle, guys. Do let us know what you guys think. Obviously, it's 3 1 to Malaga at the minute. Is that what you expected? Or did you expect Lillestrom to do a little bit more in this one? A fantastic matchup this one. End-to-end -end action. We do want to see a lot of goals, especially in the Esports Premier. And in this match, we do have it. Obviously, yesterday in the other game, there wasn't really a lot of goals. Uh, but it was a fantastic, fantastic battle in the middle between yesterday. It was, um, it was Bordelona who played extraordinary against a strong Juanente side who were the not last season champions but the season before of the esports premier and we go back onto the second half and this time it is a Lillestrom taking the kickoff and it's Ayub switching it back over to this right hand side here they play a nice tick attack of passing style on the over the top through ball on this right hand side and he has lost it it's out of position out of play and it's a throw in uh, to Malaga. And 
and it's Raul on this right hand side now. It plays it into uh, Sergio on this left hand side. He's going to do anything but it. Ball rolls it. He should get a goal here back into the middle. And a fantastic interception there. He comes back from Hazard Hales. I think he's a winger and he comes back to clear that ball out for a corner. Malaga surely have been practicing their set pieces. But a nice in, a nice header there from Fudson, in the centre half uh, for Lillestrom. And official Kraz, he is running with a lot of speed on this right hand side. Back into the middle. So has it. Igor Pino plays it back into the middle. And it should be a penalty. No, it hasn't. And it's into the keeper's hands. And PJ collects that up. He's wasting a bit of time now. He knows he's got seconds to get his players back in position. And a big kick up the pitch on the left hand side. And he flicks it on nicely. Raul back into Sergio. And it is offside. Lillestrom do need to be a little bit careful in those positions. And we have Sakao back into the middle. Plays it out onto this right hand side. Fudson switches it back over. But it was a very dangerous pass. Afrogaz wins that nicely. And they are on the counter attack here. Back to Afrogaz. He's going to shoot first time. He's not. Oh, he should have shot that Afrogaz. Bit of skill moves there outside the box. They're playing it around nicely. Using every single player. And a nice bit of skill there, Raul. Fantastic there. He does the R1, R1. Which puts the ball past them. And straight past the goalkeeper. They couldn't save it. And that is a 4-1 to Malaga. Lillestrom do need to get themselves composed on the ball. Obviously... They've won two from two from yesterday. But obviously going into this one now, obviously they know they're being casted and broadcasted live. Maybe that's made them a little bit nervous going into this. We don't know. We'll see how their first game went on. I, I'm not sure how it went on. I'll check out afterwards. Uh, but Malaga are very strong in this one. A 4-1 lead in the 60th minute. Nice interception there. Back into the middle. And Malaga are passing it round nicely. Building up that possession. Very composed on the ball. And they find a surge on this left-hand side. Back to Raul. Back to him. And this should be five now. Plays outside the box. Oh, don't know where that one went. A crazy lock on there. I'm sure he didn't mean to pass it that way. But that is what Pro Clubs is all about, guys. Obviously not about that pass, but it's about building that, that perfect chemistry. All 11 players need to know what they're doing. Otherwise, any chances or creations like that. And a fantastic tackle. Maybe not Afrogaz. Does get the ball back. He tricks the defender the other way. And it is a corner. Let's take a look at this one. They're probably going to look back post here. He's free back post number 11. He's not marked. Now he's coming back in now. Fantastic header there, and it should be a throw in for Malaga. Oh, no, Africa's kept it on on this right hand side. Africa's back into the middle. Nice tick attack passing style. A nice interception there from the centre half. Lillestrom are struggling in this game. And Igor Pino back into the middle. Dubax has it back into Sorley. Plays it back to the centre half. Sacco is going to find open space on this right hand side to Fudson. And Fudson gives the ball away. The, the manager for Malaga, Bazan, wins that ball. And they always find in this winger on this left hand side. He's always free. The wingers for Lillestrom do need to get themselves back in the game. Otherwise, it's going to be tough for the centre halves to keep pressing and getting out of position. Left mid and right mid do need to cover and help back at times. They've conceded four goals because of it. And Igor Pino finds. The ball and plays it back onto this left hand side. And it's Dubax back into Ayub's feet. He's probably looking to switch it and he fakes it. And Afrogaz wins that ball nicely on this right hand side attack. And it is a throw in. Surely this should be the three points tonight uh, for Malaga. It's going to be a tough one for Lillestrom to get back in this. But can Malaga get more goals? We shall see. Stick it with a massive kick up the left-hand side of the pitch. 
Back into Sacco. Back onto Fudson on this right side. Into the middle to Hazard Hales. Back into the middle for Igor Apino. The Finnish international player in the pro club scene. And he didn't have any space there to pass it round. He literally just cleared it out of play. And it's two backs. He could have, he could have waited a little bit longer to pass that throw in. But, and it's locked onto the goalkeeper. Hey, he should be kicking that up the pitch. And it's Lavezzi. He's been very composed and solid for that back line tonight. I think Lavezzi is the one who's playing in the middle centre-back. So maybe he's controlling a little bit. But if you look at the left mid and right mid. Obviously the right mid's not pressing right now. There he is on the ball. But the left mid was pressing basically as another striker. They do commit a lot of players forward. And you don't really see them giving the ball away. It seems they're always coming back as well on the defence. Nice little turn there from Lavezzi. Surely Lillestrom need to get themselves a goal in this one now. On this left-hand side to Kras. Two backs. He should have shot first time there and it's sorely. There we go. And we do have a second goal for Lillestrom. They had no time to, to celebrate. They skipped all that and they want to get another goal and try to get themselves back into this game. But surely it should be too late now. 87 minutes on the clock. Like 30 seconds of added time after this game. And surely that is not enough uh, to get themselves back into this one. So surely this should be a three points uh, to a Malaga. A nice interception there. Afrogas clears it and it's gone back into the Lillestrom player's feet. Back to Bazan here. He's wasting a bit of time. L1 trying is down the wing. Nice header there from Ayub. Alvaron's back onto this right hand side. A nice challenge again. And it's a free kick. This should be the last chance of the game. Bazan plays another one triangle, and that should be into the keeper's hands. Secure. And that is the final whistle, guys. 4 2 between Malaga CF and Lillestrup. What a fantastic matchup this game has been. I mean, going into this game, I wouldn't have predicted it to be a 4-2, a six-goal thriller in this one. I would have predicted it to be like a 2-1 or something close like that. But still, fantastic stuff from both sides. Malaga were the better team on the day. Very composed on the ball, using all their players, using the width, going back into the middle. And they got the four goals in that one. So congratulations to Malaga and also a big congratulations to Lillestrom. They have started the campaign very good, even though... They lost right now, but they still won at two from two and possibly three, depending on how they got on in the last one. Hopefully, we'll be able to see some of the match recap highlights now. We're going to go over that. Let's take a look if they do go over the match recap highlights. If they do, we'll go back to that now. And he is. And there we go, guys. I think, oh. Uh, he's, he's taking a look at some of these chances. We have the one on this right hand side, back into the middle. Afro Gaz, a ball roll and smash it into the top right hand corner. And this was the, I think it was the second or third goal. A nice bit of individual skill there to hit it top right. We do appreciate Ayub passing, uh, showing us these highlights, even though he lost the game. Big respect to Ayub there, uh, showing us all the highlights for this one. Fantastic stuff. And that is it for our esports action tonight, guys. Uh, thank you all for watching. We'll be back on Thursday, but this time we will be covering the Xbox side. So uh, the biggest game on Xbox on Thursday for the esports premiere, uh, we will be uh, looking at that one. So that is it, guys. If you're watching on YouTube or Facebook, thank you for watching. And we'll see you guys on Thursday for some more Pro Clubs action. Take care.